Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, we live in a world full of suffering, but there's an exciting new organization and a new event coming here to the capital area that's going to help alleviate that suffering. It's called the Walk for Humanity, and behind that is the Institute for Global Outreach. And here to tell us all about it is Velma Tarver. Welcome to the show, Velma. Thank you, thank you. I'm the Institute for Global Outreach. I started several years ago, and the reason I did is because I was actually looking for a global organization that I could give to, one where I had a connection, where I really knew that the people that I thought I was donating for were actually receiving the benefits. And as a result, I uh, created the Institute for Global Outreach. And speaking of the Walk for Humanity, that is our only fundraiser that we do for a global cause. Mm -hmm. And it has been very successful in Shreveport, and I'm hoping that we'll have, as a matter of fact, I know that we'll have the same success here in Baton Rouge. Tell the folks a little bit about some of the programs that the Institute offers now since you've created it. Oh, sure. We have a program since the walk, and we've been able to raise funds there in Shreveport. We have one program, it's an ECE program, an early childhood educational program. And what this program does is it takes little children that are on the streets with their moms as unfortunately they beg for food or for money to buy food because we're helping families and children that are in very destitute situations. And these children now, they have a school. We have 54 children in this program, and in this school they receive, first of all, two meals a day, which is probably the only food they get. Mm -hmm. And they have a teacher, a nurse, and a social worker, and that's five days a week. Our other program, which is by far the largest, is our sponsorship program. And in this program, we have over 100 children that are, that are being sponsored through Global Outreach as a result of the walk. Of these sponsored children, they're all orphans, and that's because of the AIDS epidemic there in Ethiopia. Of the orphan children, about 70% of these kids are also HIV positive. Oh, wow. That's right, and here's the biggest problem, and that is that the government provides medication for these children. They can't take the medication because they don't have money to buy food. And as sad as that sounds, that's a reality for thousands of children. And what we do is, with sponsorship, not only are we buying food, clothing, sometimes helping with shelter, school supplies. To be honest, in a lot of these situations, we, we're really saving these kids' lives. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's key work you're doing. I know it got its start, you mentioned earlier, in Shreveport. Yes. Now it's made its way down here to us in the capital area. How did that happen? Wow. Um, well, I thought about it. Uh, my husband works here uh, half the time. He's in politics, and he's in Baton Rouge a lot. And because I'm here so much, I thought, well, maybe since the walk has been successful in Shreveport, I feel like Baton Rouge is even more progressive. And I think that when people are more aware of the kind of work we're doing, they see the results of the work that we're doing, they're more inclined to get involved. I, I know people are going to want to get involved in this, so if they're seeing this right now and they've been moved to do that, what do they need to do to take part? They need to call Cali at SGI Cares. They are our event coordinators, and um, we have an online, it's an online registration through walkforhumanity.eventbrite.com. They can sign up online, or as I said, they can call Cali at SGI Cares and get more information about the Walk for Humanity. Fantastic. It's a great effort, a great cause, and a great event. We look forward to it. Thanks for coming on and giving us a scoop on that today. We really appreciate that. Oh, my pleasure. When we come back on Across Louisiana, find out how these folks are keeping you safe from Medicare fraud. It's the Senior Medicare Patrol. Take a look. Louisiana Senior Medicare Patrol needs you to help us spread the word about Medicare fraud prevention. The Senior Medicare Patrol grant for the state of Louisiana is held by a large nonprofit called EQ Health Solutions. So we manage the program for the Administration on Aging, which is part of the Administration for Community Living here in the state of Louisiana. Last year, Louisiana Senior Medicare Patrol educated over 23,000 Medicare beneficiaries. There's 800,000 Medicare beneficiaries in Louisiana. We're a very small staff of three. We can't do it alone, so we need your help. We do rely very heavily upon a volunteer corps that goes statewide, and they are using no tax dollars to help the federal government save tax dollars that are going out to crooks, scam artists, dishonest providers, and the like. So it is a very tightly run and efficient program. We currently have 40 volunteers that are statewide, and with the new baby boomers coming in, we'll have about 800,000 Medicare beneficiaries in the state of Louisiana, so 40 is not nearly enough. 
we, we need new volunteers. Successful volunteers have experience in public speaking. They have a medical background, some general ideas with Medicare, Medicaid. Um, they're familiar with Medicare summary notices and how to read them. We have several retired RNs that are volunteers and we also have a retired physician that is a volunteer. So they have experience in the medical field. But you don't have to be a retired medical professional to be a volunteer. Some of our volunteers have been homemakers. They've been in the media and social activists. We are looking for some very specific types of people to join up with us. However, we sit down with you, we've got some different um, forms and um, checklists for you to look at, so we try to, to, to really take the time to make sure that we are a good fit for you. We don't want you to be um, spending your valuable free time working in a program that might not be the right fit for you, so we work real hard to make sure that we are what you are looking for and that you are what we are looking for because it is a, a different, it's a uh, very much a community development and um, an interactive sort of a volunteer opportunity. So it's not for everyone, but the feedback we get from our volunteers is that when we make a good match, it's a really great match because it's providing something for the volunteers that they haven't been able to find in a more traditional type volunteer um, organization. Volunteering for Louisiana Senior Medicare Patrol is very flexible. Um, once a month we send out a calendar to the volunteers with events that we have scheduled in their area and they pick and choose which events they're available to help us out with and those are community outreach events and education sessions like health fairs at senior centers, independent living facilities where you go and you stand at a booth and you hand out SMP literature, brochures and giveaways. And then we do presentations, and presentations are usually 15 to 20 minutes in length with some time afterwards for question and answer. And those are done at the same places, senior centers, independent living facilities, elderly housing units. Um, those can be for churches, civic groups, those, those types of places. They never go to a senior's home. You know, they're not meeting in places that are not um, well-known and um, chaperoned, if you will. There's always going to be a site manager there. There's going to be some type of salaried staff people on site at whatever location our volunteers are visiting. Our volunteers make a difference. Our program makes a difference. We can definitely fight against Medicare fraud, but it's going to take everyone pulling together. We ask one of the things that our volunteers tell the folks that they work with in their communities is to look at those Medicare summary notices. That's that statement that they get every 90 days. And looking at that's the only way you'll ever know if your number is being misused, if your number has gotten into the hands of someone who is using it to file false claims to the Medicare system. If you're interested in volunteering with Senior Medicare Patrol, or if you think that you might have an issue that we need to help you with, you can reach us by calling our toll-free number, 877-272-8720. Or if you want more information about volunteering, we've got a wonderful section on our website that talks all about volunteering. You can even take a look at our volunteer handbook there on the website. And that website address is www.stopmedicarefraudla.org. When we come back on Across Louisiana, find out what's new with 100 black men of Metro Baton Rouge. We'll talk to Michael Victoria next.